There has been an argument playing out this week in Washington and California over high-speed rail. While our nihilist Teletubby of a president... Uh, <laughs> makes sense. Uh, while he declares an emergency over the wall, I want to take a moment to talk about this high-speed rail issue. For a long time here in California, we were led by a marble-headed, highly competent immortal named Jerry Brown. <laughs> During his four centuries of leadership, California led on climate change. We created a government surplus. We fought to improve pu public transportation. Uh, and Jerry Brown even imprisoned the genie who granted his one wish to look 64 for all of eternity. <laughs> so you pick 64 because no one questions it. No one thinks a 64-year-old guy is going to live forever, right? If he had picked Dorian Gray, 27 or something, you'd be like, something's fishy. There's a painting somewhere with some, you know what I mean? There's a painting that shows his age and his sins, but not Jerry Brown. He said, make it 64. They'll never suspect that I'm going to be here for a thousand fucking years. <laughs> one, one of the projects Jerry Brown championed was a high-speed rail line from San Francisco to Los Angeles. It was always going to be daunting, but the timeline kept getting longer and the budget kept getting bigger, like Avatar movies. Um, <laughs> then we elect Gavin Newsom, who in his first state of the state did not do his signature move of marrying gay people, his Thunder Road. <laughs> Constantly marrying gay people, that guy. Against their will at times. <laughs> No, uh, he said the LA to SF project would cost too much and respectfully take too long. I don't know who that is respectful of, but he was respectful about it and we like that. Did he offer a plan to get the cost down? He did not. Uh, to fulfill the proposition that voters passed in 2008 to get this done, he did not. No, Governor, handsome and slick in a way you think will annoy you, but then who you begrudgingly like because he is genuinely smart and informed despite the slickness Newsom, said the state will instead focus on the Central Valley part of the route from Merced to Bakersfield, which according to him could bring about economic transformation in the region. The goal was to connect the Central Valley to the coast, not to itself. A <laughs> A train from SF to LA is a train that fucks. <laughs> a train from Merced to Bakersfield is a train that masturbates. <laughs> but here's why this matters to the whole country. Governor Newsom said something that really bothered me. He said, we need to be real about why the project won't work. And being real means accepting less and it means doing less. Why is it real for a high-speed rail line to run from Madrid to Barcelona when San Francisco and LA are the same distance apart and have 10 times as many people? Why is, why is it real in the UK and France and Germany and, and uh, uh, Japan and South Korea and China? Why is it real everywhere else but here. Trump mocked the goal of high-speed rail and the Green New Deal as well. And as Democrats who believe in public works, who believe in public transit as a way to fight climate change and lift people out of poverty, we're in this trap between Republicans who don't believe government can do anything and the so-called realists who tell us that government can do less and less and it sucks. Chris Christie canceled the ARC project, which is something I always come back to along with Joe Lieberman killing the Medicare buy-in for 50 plus because it was one of the most despicable and cynical acts I've seen in politics and it was one person making a terrible decision that hurt an entire state. Uh, this was a tunnel that was supposed to go under the Hudson to connect Manhattan in this place, it says here it's called New Jersey. <laughs> New Jersey. I don't know what it is, but it's, it was supposed to connect Manhattan to this other place, this new place. <laughs> Jersey, Jersey, New Jersey. And he blamed costs. Newsom is a progressive governor in a progressive state. It's the fifth largest economy in the world. He has a full head of fucking hair. We can do this. And I don't, think he, I don't think Newsom should be lecturing us on what's real. I think it's up to us in California to show people what is real, that it is still possible for America to fucking build something. Because this isn't... This isn't New Jersey. New Jersco. It doesn't, doesn't sound right. I know it's close. Jersey. Jersco. Jer this is California. And we want a train that fucks. <laughs> All 
Hope you like that. It's my slogan. When I primary Gavin Newsom. <laughs> I don't even know when he's up. What is he up? 2024? Love it, 2024. A train that fucks. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Put it on red hats. People are like, I know what he's for. Not like these other Democrats. It's all pablum, but not love it. What's he want? A fucking train. 